the delicate knack of manipulating the controls to get the very best yield out of every log. Although Dave Thompson has been accused of having a tin ear, a steam calliope is impossible to keep in tune due to the thermal expansion of the brass whistle bells. Captain John Leonard has restored a number of carnival organs over the past few years. They used to be a familiar sight at circuses. Stationary gas engines have a real personality. They're sometimes a little unpredictable, but they're always a lot of fun. of Port Dover is exhibiting a whole truckload of restored engines, all running beautifully. Dennis Webb keeps in shape by cranking his big single cylinder lister. He claims it never takes him more than two cranks to get her going. Notice how contented these horses look. The smell of coal and wood smoke in the air and the occasional blast of a steam whistle seems to really put them at ease. John Smith is at the controls of this 1901 mobile steam car. These kids are bagging cornmeal for sale in the country store. The meal has been ground on a century-old machine designed for farm use. Vince Mountford has been the jovial MC of the Grandstand Show since its inception. He's always right at home at Steam Era. The P.L. Robertson Company of Milton display this excellent example of an early automatic screw cutting lathe. Stationary steam engines like these were once used by the thousands to power equipment in small industries. Several of the best restored pieces in this display have been brought back to life by Ernie Batty. This inverted oscillating engine was once used to power auxiliary equipment on board ship. Ernie looks after his engines with loving care. Thank you. 
Steam Era is the creation and focal point of one of the most active and involved clubs in Canada, the Ontario Steam and Antique Preservers Association. This several hundred member group is growing every year, and each show is just a bit bigger and better than the last one. It's really a show you can't afford to miss.